Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you some quick tips to help clean up your form on the high to low cable fly. And if you're new to my channel, you should know that I have hundreds of videos to help you correct your form on a multitude of exercises on my website, musculostrength.com, all organized by body part and level of difficulty. So before we dive in, know at any time that you can click this link right here for a free seven day trial of my website, where you can not only check out the videos on proper form, but gain access to my custom meal planner and 12 week workout programs as well. All right, so when it comes to the high to low cable fly, there are three golden rules you should always keep in mind. And the first one is that you must maintain proper alignment. This is because a slight shift in the wrong direction can take this exercise from trading your chest to placing a lot of unwanted stress on your shoulders and rotator cuff. So what's the proper setup and alignment for the high to low cable fly? Well, the first thing you should always check is the height of the pulleys and they should be about the same height as your head. And then from here, grab the handles and step a few feet away from the cable station. So the weight that you're lifting never touches the rest of the stack during your set. Then once you're in place, you're going to stagger your feet for more stability and balance. Keep your knees slightly bent so that the weight doesn't pull you backwards. And for added stability, you can engage your glutes and flex your core with a slight arch in your back. And then from here, make sure your shoulder blades are retracted and depressed and be sure to maintain a slight bend in your elbows to avoid stressing the elbow joint and your biceps. And now that might seem like a lot to think about right now, but it will become second nature extremely fast. Trust me. Now golden rule number two is all about execution and the rule here is that your hands need to come together under your chest. Chances are if you've never really felt a cable fly in your chest, this is the reason. As you initiate the fly motion, you need to bring your hands together from underneath the chest, almost like you're creating a slight cupping motion. Chances are if you've never really felt a cable fly in your chest, this is the reason. As you initiate the fly motion, you need to bring your hands together from underneath the chest, almost like you're creating a slight scooping motion. It's not just back and forth in a straight line. However, you'll never be able to recreate this form if your shoulders are not retracted and depressed at the start of each rep. And what ends up happening to most people, especially as they increase the weight, is that they start to roll their shoulders forward, which ends up taking most of the tension out of the chest as the load transfers to the deltoids, rotator cuffs, and serratus. So until you nail down proper form, it might be best for you to slightly pause before each rep and make sure your chest is up and your shoulders are packed. And as for golden rule number three, do not rush the movement. And I really mean it when I say briefly pause before each rep because you're wasting your time if you're completing your reps as fast as you can. Cable flies, they're not an explosive exercise. They're meant to be a controlled movement to help you focus on creating resistance throughout the entire range of motion for the most overall activation in your chest. Yeah, you can go heavy here, but if you trained your chest hard enough on compound movements like the flat or incline bench press, you should be able to focus on bringing out the ultimate pump here with moderate weight, sitting in a rep range of about eight to 10 repetitions. Be sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more quick tutorial videos like this. And remember, you can join my site for seven days free by clicking this link right here if you'd like to access my entire database, meal planner, and custom 12 week muscle building programs. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.